but we got to the chief. He said, to, told us what a striker was, and he said, you strike for your rate, you know, whatever rate you think. So he said, I got two jobs that one in laundry and one in the one to be a cook. And the other guy said, I don't want to do cooking. He said, um, yeah, so he said, I'll take the laundry. And I said, I'll take the cooking. I said, I'd rather do the cooking. Mm -hmm. He said, have any experience? I said, no. But I said, uh, except I prepare things for my mother when I was home, but nothing, nothing serious. So the first couple of days, the first week I'm in, the, they put me in, and I'm, I'm making the soup and making different things. And, and about the second week I was there, I was doing the same thing. And the uh, chief come down to me, he says, uh, Freddie, he says, uh, his name was Fred Gilson. He was 20, 22 years in the Navy, spent eight years in China, great guy. He said, uh, we've been watching you for the last couple of weeks. He said, boy, he said, you know your way around. And Kisha, he said, for being a a young 17-year-old, he said, I, I, he said, I came in the Navy when I was 17, he said, he said, I know what it's like, he says, uh, but he said, I need to cook it for the night, and he says, uh, uh, I, he said, we think, me in the first class think you could qualify for it, and I, I said, well, what does it entail? He said, well, he said, you get up and you make the lunch, or big meal is lunch, and you make the main course, the, the meat for lunch, and then you make breakfast. And he says, uh, and you give you a number of mess cooks, whatever you need. He said, uh, if you need one or two or three, he said, you determine that. And he said, you get up about maybe one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning, up to you. He said, you figure out how long it's going to take you to get your uh, main, co main co meal out. And uh, breakfast, he said, and he said, uh, and he said, uh, you're on fi uh, five days and you're off five. No, you're on, you're on five and off two, you're off t two and off, uh, off five. And he said, that's the way we work in the kitchen. So I said, okay, I'll try it. And so that's how I became a cook. And he said to me, he said, that then he came down a, after about a week, I was on a week and a half. I was doing a job, and he said, "Come down." And says, uh, "You're going up for third class." I said, "I'm not even a seaman first yet." He said, "Well, you're going up for both of them at the same time." So he said, "Here's the book," and he tore out the pages and gave them to me. This is first class seaman, and this is a third class cook. So he said, "Put the comic books away," and he said, "You don't get any liberty until you pass." So I studied a semen first and took the test and he said, oh, you come out with about a 3.2. He said, you're now first class. He said, when are you going to come up for third class? I said, well, he said, I said, as soon as I can you know, know all the questions. So about a week and a half later, I went up and told him, I went to, said, chief, I'm ready for third class. He said, okay, sit down here, fill out the papers and I went over it and filled them out and he came back and he corrected it and he said, uh, yeah, you got about a 3.5. He said, we'll give you third class. He said, you'll now be getting paid for third class. Okay. So 